Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. APC appoints Erufai, Wasi, Okorocha, Wani, others to reconcile members in Ekiti State. Hello everyone. A very warm big thank you to you. Thank you so much for supporting us. We appreciate you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. Well, in APC, I don't understand if they don't know people who have reputation. Take, for instance, the dollar man, okay, the governor of Kanu State. Ganduje was caught in the very act, collecting bribe. Not an alleged statement. He was caught. This man was caught in camera, and um, even the Senate, they saw it, but they swept it under the carpet. Rather, they fixed their eyes on the person who brought the, the, the camera, uh, who, who caught him on camera, and they started legal matter on the person on how did he get it. You know, Nigeria, where they leave the focus, they, ma they major on the minor and begin to minor, make the minor the main focus. Aerofi is not a person with good reputation in this country. Aerofi is one man who cannot even reconcile his own very community himself. We're talking about Kaduna State. We all know nobody in this country is a stranger of what is going on in Southern Kaduna. Yet you are referring him, putting, putting him as a member of committee to go and, cause, to go and um, start reconciliation in Ikiti. Don't forget that Fire me, the governor of Ekiti State was suspended at some point by some faction of APC saying that he has not been he has not done well as a governor, as a sitting governor. Let's get onto the news and understand why APC do not look at you know what would be better for them. Let's get all the details. APC appoints Erufai Wasi Okorocha Marie orders to reconcile members in Ekiti State. The All Progressive Congress APC National Ketical Committee, led by Governor Mali Malambuni, on Tuesday appointed Kanu State Governor Erufai to chair the Reconciliation Committee for the party in Ekiti State Chapter. The committee, which, was, which has other members, was inaugurated on Tuesday by the Secretary of the APC Ketical Committee, San John James Akbalodu, at the Party's National Secretariat in Abuja. Recall that the cross crisis rocking the Ekiti State chapter of the party took a turn for the worse last week when a faction announced the suspension of the governor, Kayo De Fayemi, over allegations of anti party activities. But the national leadership of the party last later same day declared the suspension nullified. Other members of the Reconciliation Committee are Honorable Amid Idris Wasi, General Lawa Jamin, retired, Onwani Okorocha, General Mahmoud Babu, and others, part of the Reconciliation Committee. Spokesman for APC Yekini Nabin. Nobina said the setting up and inauguration of the Reconciliation Committee is in line with the mandate of the party Ketiko Committee and the President Administration to party members to support amicably and reconcile settlement for internal party disputes and the crisis so far. Nabina therefore called on party leaders and members of the state to approach the committee with all issues so as to resolve them. He said, we call on our esteemed party members and leaders in Ekiti State to approach the Governor Nasiru Ahmed Rufai-led Reconciliation Committee with all issues so as to achieve amicably settlement of the state chapter going forward. So that is APC trying to put a house in order, trying to settle issues that... Um, 
turmoil that is going on and the internal war in the party. Well, we know that APC as a party has been engulfed from the very inception in a lot of woes to mention but a few. This is a party that started on the back of, you know, uh, started on the back of, with, the, with one common goal and purpose. And you know the thing with unity. Unity makes a place to really go far and to expand. Unity makes a place to really, you know, uh, see, you know, to achieve a purpose. So when this party, when these parties came together with one goal, nobody having another kind of mind, everybody was set in a goal. You know, I tell you what happened. There is a, a same issue like this scenario that happened when some people were trying to build what we call the Tower of Babel. So they proposed in their heart. They all came together and they agreed. They said, let us build a tower that will touch heaven and let us stay together as one so that nothing will divide us. Guess what? As soon as God himself, the maker, the almighty God, saw these people that their heart was one. They've not laid one stone on another. He said the unity of those people has already gotten them their victory. So what did he do? He had to show us what this unity can do. He made them, he made their languages, their voices to be divorced, divided. And as soon as that division came, not a stone could be laid on another and the tower never rose up again. So this was the case of the inception of the very beginning of APC. They came together. They were a formidable team. They worked together. There was unity within the ranks. None was breaking the ranks and they said, let us unseat PDP. Of course, they achieved it. But beyond the victory of that day, what was the next plan? After unseating PDP, what would this party stand for? There was no other for that direction. There was nothing, nothing in place to say when we become government, this is what we must do to ensure that every time there is an election from the, from the, from the state level to the federal level, whatever, from the local level to the state level to the federal level, the people will choose us again and again. Not even we will not even try to circumvent the will of the people, such that every local government, state, and federal level will never cease. They will say the reign of APC is the reign of peace and progress. Was there any plan like that? No. So that's why after the main purpose and goal was achieved, then there was no other vision. There was nothing else to pursue. There was nothing else to see. That is the crisis you're seeing today and will continue until they go back to the drawing board and repair the foundations. For if the foundations be destroyed, what can they do? Nothing. Nothing can be done if the foundations, the foundation, just imagine you have not done a foundation. You want to build a story building. Let's even say it's a bungalow. What do you think will happen to that, uh, for that uh, property? Uh -huh. You can answer the question for yourself. So these are some of the issues why APC is in constant, constant, I mean constant uh, fights and rivalry and crisis that is so difficult for them to come out of. Anyway, guys, this is the reality of true taste of what is on ground. Leave us a comment. Please like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.